I should stop. Sully was very, uh, uh, he was a hero, an American hero. It's mean. He's a goose killer. I hate him. (laughs) (laughs) It's a murder, massacre of geese. (laughs) And the goose's family wrote a book (laughs) called That Fateful Day. (laughs) It's about how the goose was pinching off a nice shit in the yard. (laughs) Starts off, yeah. Yeah. It's an ordinary day. It was pinching off all the fucking shit. ran through it like a, well, you know. (laughs) People are coming up with their own titles for the book. Like what? Let's say hi to Tyler in Indianapolis. Tyler! Pedo stash. Good morning, boys. What's up, Tyler? Hey, I now as a pilot myself that does the same thing Sully does, his total title should just be I Got Lucky. There's no way you can train for that or how good you are you can pull that off. There's no way. Yeah, he had a lot in his uh, in his favor that yeah, day. Yeah, the wind's going exactly. right. The thing, it was like glass, the river that day. Uh, and the thing, yeah. when he hit the thing, but, you know, he had, hey. it gave him enough time in the air to make some decisions. Come on. Guy, uh, he, did, he did it. So, you know, you got to give him some credit. Don't be mean. That's right. Don't oh, yeah, mean exactly. Don't be mean, boys. Don't be mean. All right. Sully. Thank you, Tyler. That you book know. is going to be uninspirational oh. dreck. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm obsessed with reading it now. I, I, I ordered a Kindle. Oh, you did? Yeah. Wow, what's wrong with that? No, you're going to get that book for the Kindle? The first thing I'm going to get and read it on a plane. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Can't wait till my Kindle comes. Please uh, give us a report. It won't be there until next week. God damn me. Uh, What? The Kindle, I could have just bought one, but I bought the one that's got the international Wi-Fi. But it's not international? You don't Because I'm an asshole, Hope. Where are you going? Never, I, just, I don't think you've to, ever been out of the country. You want to read in Japan? But if I do, even if I do fly out of the country, I'm, I think I'm going to have to download a book immediately. Yeah. <laughs> you would just download yeah. it ahead of time. <clears throat> mm. Why did you need international <laughs> Wi-Fi? I don't know. I want to eat Sully's mustache. I want him to shave it, and I want to have it. I want to mix it in with jam and what? fucking eat it off a dog's dick. <laughs> Put it on top of a piece of sushi. <laughs> No, I want to <laughs> suck it off a dog dick. <laughs> I know, I heard that. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong? <laughs> I love how he corrects me. I no, I really want to <laughs> suck it off. <laughs> you imagine if you shaved his mustache and then you mixed it up in some jam and the poor dog came over and you just, you just grabbed him. He got a smear on there and then... Just flick off the deliciousness. Yeah, and you watch his legs stop kicking when he realizes everything's going to be okay. <laughs> He's getting blown. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Maybe that's why they don't push the show publicly <laughs> and make proud announcements about it. Yeah, I don't think Bob Edwards is talking about of course he's not. Sully's mustache being cut off, mixed with jam, <laughs> smeared on a dog dick so he can lick it off. No, of course now, not. guys, let's not make fun of people. Oh, okay. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Kindle. Why is it called a Kindle? Actually, because you're, you're I don't know, <laughs> because maybe it's shit and you throw it in and burn it like firewood. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, come on. Or maybe because you you buy it with a Barbie? No, no. It's not funny. Oh, God, no. That was horrible. It's awful. But no, I really want one. It's like small. And I, 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 I have a Stephen King book. I'm reading... Um, Bag of bones. It's like a thick paperback. I'm like, what am I doing? I could throw it in the this. Kindle. The Karen Carpenter story. <laughs> <laughs> Bag of bones. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Steve Carlisi story. Bag of shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or no, where's the bones? <laughs> <laughs> we got a guy that actually went to a Sullenberger uh, book signing. Really? Wow. Brian, what do Where? you got? Opie, how you doing this morning, man? Hey, Brian, what I do you was, got? Uh, in, uh, walked into a Walmart at 1055 uh, last Saturday, and there was a signing at 11, so I thought, hell, I'll go back and watch. There was about 30 people standing around. He walked in. They all applauded. He signed their books. He was out of there. It was the biggest non-event I've uh, ever I actually seen. feel bad. I don't, I don't want to see the guy embarrassed like that. Um, no, all the, you know, they're not going to be uh, lying around the block. I'm surprised, for Sully. though, man. Well, with all the attention he got, he should have got a lot more fucking people uh, showing up to his book so signing. They, they brought him out during the Super Bowl. 
Oh. Guy should have people at his book. And he waved, him and the crew waved uncomfortably long until right. the middle of the third quarter. <laughs> like, get off the field, you fucking you goose murdering asshole. <laughs> we have fucking wagers to cover. <laughs> hey, goose Hitler, get off the fucking <laughs> genocide against geese. He's a criminal. He should be arrested. <laughs> TJ in New York, what do you got? I want Sully to die in prison alone. <laughs> Jesus, TJ. Yeah, Sully's real name for his book is My Failed Suicide Attempt. <laughs> God damn it. Now, Carrie. He was actually gunning for that one goose who owed him money. <laughs> Something about a golden egg. He wouldn't be specific. <laughs> Carrie, what do you got? Good evening. Hi. Hi, Carrie. Question for you guys. You're bagging the shit out of him, which was not what you did the day after this shit happened. Right. You guys get on the plane. You, Jimmy. Who you want flying the fucking thing? The goose killer? Mohammed Atta. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. Shut up. <laughs> We're just having fun. <laughs> really? Jesus, dude. Yeah. Just go with the jokes. Uh, let's say hi to Joe in Manhattan. Joe. Yeah, the, name of the, the name of the book is I Was Saving Myself. You Were All Alone for the Ride. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a better title. <laughs> oh, this guy wants to call you an oh, asshole, Jimmy. Jen. Jen, go ahead. Hey, Jimmy, fuck you, man. I'm driving down the road, and you're talking about a fucking dog dick. I spit coffee all over my glasses, all over my sunglasses, all over my windshield. Okay, spitting up coffee because you, man. Jimmy. <laughs> you're hot as hell. <laughs> Oh, God. oh, that book is going to be brutal. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just buy a, I want to buy a whole box of it and see if I can <laughs> skip them across the river. <laughs> oh, I'd rather read my fortune in a magic eight ball. It's going to be a fucking terrible read. <laughs> Devoid of anything. Stop trying to make me feel inspired. Someone, <laughs> someone, quickly go through the book and see how many pages he he spends on the actual incident and yeah, how much yeah. other horseshit's in there. Ugh. Ah, it's fun too. I actually, I feel bad if he didn't have that money. This book signing, so is he doing any around here? I'll, I'll let's plug I'm it. He's a pilot. Well, no, nah, but still, sit there. Fuck him and his book. I don't want to see him embarrassed. We said we would talk to him, and the guy blew us off. So That's fuck true. Him. All right. He deserves everything he gets. How about you just go? I want everybody to go to his book signing with fucking like little geese masks on <laughs> and boo him. <laughs> Murderer! Boo! Zell! <laughs> I know you, you murderer! <laughs> Device pilot! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and he can only sell as many books as he can swallow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just sits there with a bunch of geese behind him, and when people come up to get their book signed, he snaps the neck <laughs> and signs it in goose blood. <laughs> and then he closes the book on the goose as like a bookmarker. <laughs> Oh, he hates geese. Ah, uh, he really does. He caught some goose fucking a chick he was dating at one point. <laughs> the goose was had a cigarette, was holding her down and fucking her face. And she's like, what's going on here? Holy. <laughs> God, I want to see more of that book. Ah. It's available. Uh, well, Tuesday's books come out, so it's probably out. Maybe he is yeah. coming on. Maybe he's coming in tomorrow. Who knows? Yeah. I doubt That'd it be now, nice. But, uh, oh, yeah, yeah now? Yeah. Oh, and of course, we'd just be nothing but nice. Of course we would. What's that about? Uh, yeah, a lot of commas in those chapters. Hearing he passed on oh, radio. radio. Really? Why? Mm. What, does he, what does he think he talked on when he saved his own life? That fucking prick. <laughs> really? He <laughs> would do a TV interview? <laughs> talked on the radio. Yeah. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Sick of radio not getting respect. <laughs> no kidding. Even though we spent 40 minutes destroying that hunk of shit <laughs> but, with a cover. But he did talk his way out of it through a radio. Of course he did. Ah, motherfucker. Ah, ah. How about some respect? Uh, yeah, well, how do you think they knew where you were landing, you dummy? I know. They, they don't mention the other time when he was flying and he hit a water buffalo. He's lousy. <laughs> <laughs> he hit a unicorn once. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> clip Superman. The balloon and up. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, oh, fuck. Hmm. Uh, that makes me laugh a lot. 
Sully's book. Oh. Can't wait. To. I might have to read that. Chapter that two. Be... Wake up, reader. <laughs> 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 There's nothing worse than a book about one small event. Uh, no. What? The catch was good. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. More called? than a catch or whatever. More than a catch. Yeah, that no, was a it book. wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was just the catch. Yeah, the Giants didn't even think so. They released your ass. You would think and they would keep him around because it was more than a catch. And Sully, you think any pilot could write a book and put shit in it except for landing in the Hudson River. Ugh. That's like the only part you'd want to read. Of course. Yeah. I don't care about the good flights. Yeah. Every pilot could write that book. Yeah. I could write a book about sitting in the fucking seat reading a magazine, watching yeah. a movie, and then, uh, you know, getting out. Chapter 8. Turbulence from 250 to 254. <laughs> Coffee spillage. <laughs> Chapter 1 through 20. I'll have another Bloody Mary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good old Sully. Well, who are we to make fun? Godspeed, Sully. Like God's, hero. Godspeed. Did stuff we could never do. Yeah. Actually save people. lives. never crash a plane. <laughs> he did exactly what I could do. <laughs> what I couldn't do was avoid the geese. <laughs> and neither could he. <laughs> he did exactly what I could do. Fly for three minutes and then crash in the water. <laughs> with no engines. <laughs> I could do that now. <laughs> yeah, why is he special? <laughs> Fucking... Uh, oh, shit. Let's go to Ken in Cleveland. <laughs> Ken, what's going on? Hey, guys, I just saw you. You said Sully turned down uh, radio, but he was on local uh, Cleveland stations this morning. Oh, was he? Great. He turns yep. down Opie and Anthony to do local fucking radio in Cleveland. Cleveland. Great. A place where no one has money to buy his book. Of course not. That makes sense, You'll see the Cleveland demo. They don't want his book. Right. <laughs> Phil, Minnesota. <laughs> You think, they think uh, Sullenberger is a new thing uh, at McDonald's. Has... <laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> Yo, I want a Sullenberger. They think that's a cranky hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> he could crash into Cleveland and kill no one on the ground. <laughs> Empty shit city. And now that I had to add that part in. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, fuck him. Phil. <laughs> He was fucking aiming for the towers and he missed. He's a prick. (laughs) Phil, what what do you got? Terrorist. (laughs) Over there? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go. (laughs) Do you think Sully has Aflac insurance? That's pretty funny. I don't know why that didn't get a laugh. Yeah, it should have gotten a laugh. I do. I I respect that one. All right, we'll go to Ziggy in D.C. Ziggy. Hey, morning, boys. I was wondering, is there a chapter in the book that describes how the fuck he survived combat missions in Nam? Yet waterfowl took his ass out. Well, there probably is stuff about his war record. Well, he did. I love the fact that it's with so and so. Whenever it's with so and so, I doubt that he did much writing at all. He probably just yeah. sat there with a tape recorder <coughs> and told his life story, and, and this guy, guy made heads or tails out of it. Yep, yep. that's Fucking how it works. Drool marks where he was falling asleep <laughs> as he's writing out what Sully was saying. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next day, oh. See, <laughs> and Al's a good co-pilot. <laughs> sure he is. <laughs> Tom in Chicago. Who has the worst farts? You all your co-pilots. <laughs> Anyone ever shart on a flight? That's what I want to hear. Do you ever wake up and get your dick sucked by your co-pilot and keep it, just keep it under your hat because it was a long flight? <laughs> you, ever, you, you ever make your co-pilot suck your dick? <laughs> yeah, he's going to have a chapter on that. Jimmy. Wouldn't that be great? Smelling my co-pilot's seat. You ever get caught leaning over and taking a sniff? <laughs> leaving, leaving greasy, greasy ball mark impressions on the windshield for the next crew. <laughs> it's what pilots do. It's one of the funny things pilots do that no one knows about. Where they'll open their asshole and they'll wrap it around the knob that the next guy has to touch. <laughs> his throttle. <laughs> he smells his hand, goes, fucking Sully. Ah, that damn Sully. Got me again. He's a guard. I just wonder why there was a lima bean on top of the throttle. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. He, he stunk throttled me. <laughs> <laughs> he got names for all their little yeah. gags. Yeah. It's like when you fuck with the fuel gauge, so you have to you, you think that you think you have plenty of fuel and you don't. And all of a sudden you're over like a major city and you run out of gas. <laughs> and you're like, oh that's sorry. 
<laughs> you fucking glue goose feet around the engine intakes. <laughs> <laughs> or you, you fuck with the recordings, so whenever there's wind shear, it goes, your mother's a cunt. Your mother's a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Little wacky pilot tricks. Yes. Things we never knew about. Oh. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tom in Chicago. Hi. Uh, you're bashing the inventor of the latest craze among geese, a new game where they fly in a circle and play Duck, Duck, Sully. Oof. That one went in. There were no survivors. <laughs> exactly. Eleven hundred men go in the water. <laughs> <laughs> All of them drowned myself. That's <laughs> it's contagious, sir. I caught your bombitis. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Sully was flying Henry Blake home. <laughs> <laughs> Shot down over Hudson River. There were plenty of survivors. <laughs> a geese hit his engine. He spun in. <laughs> a geese hit his a engine. Geese. It was just one. Yes, it was Geese it was Osby of the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> conjoined geese. <laughs> oh boy. Stephen S. from Bayshore. Sully's book from hair lip to hero. <laughs> Does he have a hair lip? Uh, does he? Uh, he might be uh, hiding something with that mustache. Oh. We should take a break. Phew, yeah. Phew. Gotta eat. So we can breathe a little bit. <laughs> take us out there, Travis.